develop my Morse code to send dips and dashes, as now I'm gonna spell words. So with this young man, let's have a class and show you how easy and fun it, if his age, he can send telegraph, then you can see how fun and easy it is. So let's have some fun. Hello, young man. I'm Captain Jeremiah. How are you? All right. So what I'm gonna do is, now, the telegraph office, you would come into the telegraph office, and this is a typical me uh, message form that you could fill out. Let's say Aunt Betty up in, in uh, Stockton, you want to send her a message. So you would write on here, Aunt Betty, her address, and you would come to the telegraph office, pay your five cents, and I would take that message and I would call Fresno. I have a message. Would you relay it on to, uh, uh, you know, um, Stockton or wherever it's going to Aunt Betty? And that's how she would get her message. So during the Civil War, uh, when the South cut their lines, all of our, like uh, all of our lines from the South, from uh, Virginia to Georgia, that we could talk and send messages from our general, Robert E. Lee. Uh, sent messages with telegraph. Now, Abraham Lincoln, by the way, do you know who Abraham Lincoln was? Who was Abraham Lincoln? He was the president. The president of the United States. Well, who was the president of our Confederacy? Jefferson Davis. So Jefferson Davis would send messages, say, hey, I need men. I need ammunition. I need toilet paper. I need things, so he would come to us at the telegraph office. All right, let's have fun. Okay, I'm going to write your name down. I'm going to write his name down. I'm going to put the Morse code to every character, and we're going to. We're, he's going to uh, send his name. What's your name? Alexander. Okay, give me the spelling. A. A L E X A N D E R. Oh, you're quick. A L E X A. N. D -D wow, what a nice long name. This is going to be fun. Okay, Alexander, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down all the Morse code to every character. Ready? You're going to follow me? All right, and then I'm going to show you how to send it. All right, here, we're going to go fast. Okay, A, for example, dot dash, L dot dash dot dot, E dot X dash dot dot dash. A dot dash N dot or dash dot D dash dot dot E dot R dit dash dit. Isn't that funny? A language is a language of dots and dashes. So I call it a language because think about it like Russian or German or Spanish or English or telegraph code. It's a language. So you learn a language. So the longer you speak a language, the better you become. The faster you become of copying the telegraph code. Okay, you see that? You kind of get that idea? Now, here's the fun part. We're gonna actually send those dots and dashes, and let's see how well he does. I think he's gonna do fine. Are you ready? Okay, Alexander, this is the way it works. And since it's a listening code, everybody has to listen. The dot is quick, fast. Dot, dot, you try it, you give it a try. Good, oh, that was two dots. So you can't fool a telegraph operator. Give me one dot, and give me two dots. Give me three dots, very good. Give me four dots, five dots. Oh, I'm sorry, I got carried away, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, give me two dots. But you see how the dot works, it's really quick and fast? Good, I think he's got the dot down. Now, the dash, a little bit longer. Uh, you hold it down just a little, you know, just a little bit uh, longer than you would. Have. So, like, for example, dash, dash, dash. Okay, give me a dash. Okay, give me two dashes. Good. Now, give me a dot dash. You hear the difference? Give me another dot dash. Now, give me a dash dot. Good. Now that's very good. Okay, give me a dot dash now. 
dot dash. Hey, give me a dot dash dot dot. Dash dot dot. L. A dot. E. X dash dot dot dash. Dot dash. He's doing great. Dosh dat. Dosh dip dip. Dip. Or dot. Dot dash dip. Now you get the idea, you see how that works with the dot and dashes? I think he's got it. Okay, no more coaching for me. I'm gonna let Alexandra send his name now. Alexandra. <laughs> and tell Alexander. Alexander and telegraph Morse code. Now show everybody that you can send it. And I'm gonna copy it. Ready? A. A. L. E. X. A. N. I want D. Okay, do D. I'm waiting for it. Yeah. D. E. Alexander. I think we ought to give him a hand, everybody. You see how fun it is? It really is an easy language. Oh, headquarters is asking a question. They want to know who is Al Alexander. Oh, excuse me. Let me answer. Alexander Alexander is our new telegraph operator. Congratulations. You get $10 extra a month. I'm out of a job. All right. You see how much fun it is? So I'm going to sign this. I'm going to sign this here. Captain uh, Jeremiah, a message for him. Uh, let's see, the year of 1863, uh, Gettysburg, uh, I mean Fresno, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Alexander. Hi, uh, Alexander. Yeah. Raise your right hand. Can I ask about that? Right hand. <laughs> now I want you to swear allegiance to the Confederate States of America. Oh, you're Saying pushing it. You're now a Confederate soldier. <laughs> hey, Alexander, thank you very much. You're great. Now you're back to you eight did, bucks a month. You know, he did very well. <laughs> I'm impressed. Wow. Really. So he's Can a second grader. Thank you very much. Huh? Uh, it's yours to keep. Practice your code.